lighting conditions can change how you adjust the red dot brightness. Otherwise, you end up dealing with stuff like this. The dot brightness is too dim to aim, too bright that you can't see, and don't forget about when other strong light sources can wash out your dot completely. This can be very annoying, and it requires the user to constantly find the sweet spot relative to the lighting conditions. So, what can we do for these low light scenarios? Here we have the EOTech Ring Reticle. A simple dot without glare provides a much better sight picture without view obstruction. Here we have the traditional 2MOA dot red dot sight. Both options typically work well in most scenarios, but not so much when you forget to prepare them for low light conditions. They can either block the target or not be bright enough to acquire the dot. The good news is that there are red dot sights with automatic brightness adjustment. While they're great for adapting to the lighting condition around the shooter, they don't actually adjust well relative to the target plane's lighting condition. Take a look at these tactical situations. The car headlight is blinding the shooter. Here is when someone pointing a much more powerful light back. In both situations, the dot is as hard to see as the surrounding details. The perfect solutions here is to pair a good weapon light like this one with up to 70,000 candela output that can lit up the target and also overpower the incoming light sources. So we can see things clearly and aim. It's not going to be perfect, but it's a lot better than this. Here is the new Trigicon RMR HD with the forward light sensor that can adjust the dot brightness based on the target's lighting condition. If you like a gun setup like this, watch this video next.